my name is Jody Gaver. I've been working with Configuration Manager since 2010. Today we're going to talk about how to update our operating system images with uh, Windows updates from within Config Manager, where to set those updates, and some best practices, and troubleshooting in log files. Alright, today's topic is going to be covering uh, updating your offline OS images. So first you need to make sure you have your software update point installed and configured. And then we need to tell it what uh, updates you want to install. So I have my software update point installed here. but it's on your primary site under configure site components and then under software update point where you're going to pick what classifications of products, which products. I have SCUP installed so I have some additional options you wouldn't normally see. Uh, you have to have this configured if you're using endpoint protection. Uh, we're using it to update Link, Office 2010, 13, Silverlight, Skype. As you can see, there are just a ton to pick from. Windows 7, 8, 8, 1. This should pretty much cover everything I have in my environment. You can set up a synchronization schedule, supersedence rules, and all the different languages. We're going to go into our software library, expand out our operating systems, and look at our operating system images. And when you right click up here, you have all different options of things you can show. So the different scheduled update status, um, source site, package path, that's good to know. Sorry about that. It's not the packet or stored package path, but the package source path. This will show you where the WIM is. So I'm going to update. Oh, I'll pick this one. You can see the WIM name. So I have that directory pulled up here. So we can see when it starts backing up. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to. Schedule updates. And it takes just a minute and it will populate based on the architecture of the image. After just a brief minute, this list populated and you can see all the different updates that are available, whether they're critical. So you could choose at this point which ones you wanted in there. And you can set it as soon as possible. If you wanted to wait and run it after hours, you could. I usually schedule this to run after uh, after school hours, so it's not so busy. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and run as soon as possible. I always leave it to continue on error, but that way if it, in, it runs into an error applying an update, it'll still go ahead and continue, and it won't corrupt your whim. And we're going to tell it to go ahead and update the distribution point when it's done. Okay, so shortly we should be able to see this change right now. It's just scheduled. And while we're waiting a minute for that one to change, I'm going to go ahead and update another whim. So we're going to schedule updates. Uh, 
Okay, again, that was maybe 30 seconds that I, that I had it paused while I was waiting. And if we look at all the different updates available in here, this one hasn't been updated for a little while. So selected updates, 133. That'll sure speed up the task sequence. We're going to go ahead and run this one as soon as possible. And we'll refresh and see if that's changed. And yes, by the way, Drew is cool. And tacos are good. We like to have a little fun here. All right, after a refresh, now it actually says in process. So we're going to look and see. It should create a backup file. Now if you ever wonder what's going on, as always, there's logs for everything. So on the primary site server and program files, Microsoft Config Manager logs, offline servicing manager log will tell you exactly what's going on. So let's see, it says copying file from to. So this is where it's making its backup. And config manager offline image servicing and it was D. So here I made the copy of the win. It's mounting the image and processing. All right, so it's mounted the image and it's checking if updates actually need to be applied. And it's applying the update. This is pretty tough, isn't it? And the cool thing is, is you can continue imaging without any problem because this isn't actually touching the original WIM right now. It made a backup copy. And the great thing is, is if you have any issues, you can just restore the backup that it made if you have any issues with corrupt WIMs. And one of the questions I always get asked is, will this do updates for things other than Windows? And no, this will not because it uses DISM. It can only update the Windows operating system itself. But you can still, in your task sequence, use and install software updates task to cover the rest of those, like the Office updates, uh, Skype, all, all those other ones you saw earlier. So about once a month here, I will do a build and capture with that install software updates task in there to uh, catch all those other ones. So it's only been a f maybe five minutes now, and it actually shows total number of updates. It's 11, and it's unmounting the image. Now, after just a few minutes, it shows successful and shows the list of updates installed in the image. And if we go and look at the actual WIM, we can see that as of a few minutes ago, well, my few minutes ago, it copied the updated WIM back. And after a refresh, you can see that it is now in progress updating itself on the distribution points. So it quickly distributed itself here to the site server, and it's in progress to uh, our di couple distribution points. If we flip back to our log, you can see the other OS image is now updating and proceeding. The only time I've had these actually fail 
is due to running out of space. I believe if I remember there was a registry key to set where it's um, doing the temporary mounting directory. So that's where that log file comes in really handy to see, handy to see where it's putting it. And if it's failing, you can check and make sure your C drive has enough room. And it's also good to make sure that it's actually cleaning up those Im the temporary images when it's done with it. I don't assume Config Manager is going to be perfect all the time. And just to double check that it did actually delete it, it did. It was like PRI 00, I want to say 90. That directory is not there. And you can see it's working on the other one right now. And if you're anything like me, I'm always curious as to what's going on. So I'm going to click in here and see what these are. Oh, they're Windows updates. All right, so I showed you where the log files are, where to set what updates are going to be available to go in the OS images. And again, you do have to actually have software updates working in order for this to work. And I will do a whole another video covering setting up the software update point in Windows updates.